My name is Ron, I'm a craftsman plumber and a technical sales representative for Apex Valves. We would like to show you some of the common installations for the range of Apex Valves. This is a typical installation of a low pressure hot water cylinder. The first valve in line is a filter stop, commonly known as a 3-in-1 valve. The filter stop provides an isolation and non-return valve and incorporates a 250 micron filter to protect the valves downstream from any debris in the line. To clean the filter, you simply isolate the filter stop and unscrew the black acetyl cap to gain access to the stainless steel filter. The next valve is the pressure reducing valve, commonly referred to as a feed valve. These are available in three settings, 37, 76 and 120 kPa. The pressure reducing valve is designed to reduce the mains pressure supply to a low pressure hot water cylinder. The next valve in line is the cold water expansion valve. This is designed to relieve cold water as thermal expansion takes place during the heating process. The expansion valve incorporates a drain port and an additional port to connect a balance supply to the tempering valve above. Above the expansion valve is a tempering valve. The tempering valve is an anti-scold device designed to mix cold water with the hot outlet supply from a hot water cylinder. Our tempering valves are preset in the factory to 55 degrees Celsius to comply to the New Zealand building code. However, they are fully adjustable from 35 to 60 degrees Celsius. On the outlet side of a low pressure installation, we have a relief valve. The relief valve acts as a secondary port of relief to the cold water expansion valve, relieving excess pressure as thermal expansion takes place. The relief valves are available in settings of 37, 76 and 120 kPa to match the corresponding pressure reducing valve used on the system. This is a typical mains pressure hot water storage installation. The two main types of mains pressure storage systems are either electric or gas heated systems. Both require the same pressure control valves. The first valve we recommend is a limiting stop valve, known as an LSV. The LSV has four functions. It provides an isolation valve, a 250 micron filter to protect the system downstream, and an adjustable limiting valve to allow for accurate pressure control. It also incorporates a non-return valve in the outlet to prevent any backflow from the hot water service. The limiting stop valve is adjustable from 200 to 600 kPa and provides a very high flow rate. For future maintenance, the limiting stop valve can be isolated and left in line. You simply remove the cartridge, which contains all the working components of the valve. The next valve is a mains pressure cold water expansion valve. As with the low pressure cold water expansion valve, this serves as a point of relief when thermal expansion occurs and can be used as a drain port for the hot water cylinder. The mains pressure cold water expansion valves are available with settings of 500 kPa and 700 kPa. Above the expansion valve is a tempering valve. The valve on this installation is a TV20. This valve can be used on both mains pressure and low pressure cylinders. It will operate with incoming pressures between 20 to 1000 kPa. The next installation is an instantaneous hot water system. As with the mains pressure storage systems, we recommend the use of an apex limiting stop valve on an instantaneous heater. This will provide filter protection, an isolation and non-return valve, and provide accurate pressure control on the incoming cold supply. As shown here, the installation of the limiting stop valve prior to the cold takeoff servicing the building will provide a balanced pressure to both the hot and cold plumbing services.